Hello, this is Christy. Welcome to another Camtasia tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can create a quick slideshow from multiple photos in Camtasia that also matches the duration of an audio file. Maybe you want to put an audio file with a like a music track and you want to have a specific number of slides in a slideshow with transitions and everything and you want that slideshow to match exactly the duration of your song or your your tune without having to manually adjust each slide you could potentially have many many slides so how do you remove the guesswork from creating a slideshow with a custom duration in Camtasia um, to match an audio track so the problem is that Camtasia allows you to adjust the duration of a clip. So in my example here, look, if I introduce a picture in my slideshow, of course I can drag the edges of this picture so that it matches my uh, duration that I want. Maybe I want to make it a minute long, that is fine. But then if I introduce another one, I cannot actually change to make them both the same duration unless I manually change each one. So I bring another picture in here and you can see that it, it starts short and I can make it longer like this, but then I have to always watch the numbers. And what if I have like 20 images, then that's gonna take a long time to do. And you can do a duration like this in Camtasia. If you right click on a clip, you can say add clip speed and you can change the clip speed. So if these are videos, you can change the duration like this. But if they are static images, it doesn't help you uh, to do because you can. You also have to drag this manually or put the duration here manually in it and you have to do it with each one of them. And things are actually even worse if you wanna put them in a group. So Camtasia enables you to group objects together. So if you wanna say, group all of your images together in one group, uh, press Control G when you select all of them, and you can create a group from these images. But the problem is you cannot apply the clip duration adjustment or effect to a group. See, you can't do it here. If you go to the visual effects, you have clip speed, you cannot use this effect on a group. So then you can't do it like that either. So how do you do it? Well. It's kind of easy, but it needs you to do a little calculation at first. I'm going to exemplify how to do this, and we will use one of Camtasia's settings to control this. So before we start, let me just clear everything from my media bin. I have a, an empty track, so I want to change my project settings to be HD, for example, because Camtasia changes the canvas when you drag an image in here for the first time. So now I have a blank project, and in my folder here, I have an audio track and I have 10 images. I made it 10 images because I want it to be easy to calculate, but you can do the same with multiple images. It's just a simple calculation. First of all, I'm going to drag my soundtrack in my project right here. So you can see this track is about four minute and a half, right? So this is the duration I want. If I import all the images so I'm not going to worry about the order of the images you can worry about that yourself you can give them different numbers file names on disk but I'm just going to create uh, select all of these images and just drag them inside my project on the timeline like so okay so now that the images have been imported you know there's only 10 of them and they only last about a minute almost a minute so that is not good because now if I want these images to spread for the entire duration of my track, I have to drag each one of them and they will not be equal and so on. So how do I do this? Well, before you import your images, you need to figure out how long each image needs to be. So you need to calculate how long is your track and divide that by the number of images. In my case, as I said, I want my uh, track to be 4 minutes 38. If I exclude the end part of the track uh, here at the end, if I remove it maybe a little bit because it's silence at the end, I can probably pull it off to be about 4 minutes 30. Now, 4 minutes 30 is about 270 seconds, right? 270 seconds. That is 27 seconds for each slide because I have 10 slides. So 
before I bring these in, I need to change a setting in Camtasia that will change the default duration of an image that you bring into your project on the timeline. So let me remove the images to demonstrate this. And I'm going to actually remove them all from the library. So I'm just going to right click and delete unused media. So in my project, I only have my audio track at the moment, which we agreed is 4 minutes 30. So there is one setting that controls the default duration of an image when you bring it into Camtasia. So go to the edit menu. Let me just pull this in here because it's off screen. Go to the edit menu in Camtasia and go to preferences. In the preferences setting window, you have a timing tab. If you go to timings, this is a setting screen where you change the default duration for various things. So the second one here, it says images five seconds. By default, each image you bring in, it's going to last five seconds on the timeline. But we calculated that my track is four minutes 30, and that is going to be 270 seconds. And I have 10 images which makes it 27 seconds per image. That's what I need. Before I close this, I can always also change the duration of the transitions. So if I want the transitions between the images to be longer than one second, I can put them here to maybe three seconds. Okay, so that controls the duration because also the transitions, we will add them to all the images at once to save time. So once I figure out how long I want the images to be, on the screen and how long I want the transitions to last. Click OK. Let me make the window large again. And now I'm ready to bring in my images. Again, the same images, just select them all from disk and drag them into my project here. So as you can see now, because I've changed the setting, all of the images will be as long as it needs to last for the entire duration of my audio track. I may be off a couple of seconds here. If you want to put more seconds, you can put 28 maybe, and then you're going to have like 10 seconds at the end um, that you don't know what to do with extra. You can maybe adjust the last slide. You can't be exactly specific with seconds and frames. So it's just seconds. You're going to be a second off every now and then. The procedure I highlighted here with the default duration works in Camtasia 2019 and 2020. But in Camtasia 2020, there is an easier way to do this without changing the default duration for imported images. And let me demonstrate that really quickly here because it's much faster and it doesn't involve changing your, your settings. So I have again the same track here, the same duration, so it's four minute and a half. And I'm going to bring in the images again. This time, I'm not worried about the duration of the images at first, and I don't care about the setting in Camtasia. This is Camtasia 2020, remember? So this is one way to do it. You have imported the, the images here now. Again, they are short because I changed my setting back to be five seconds. How do I make them stretch for the entire duration of my track? If I right click on them, they're still selected. If I right click on the any of the images and I choose duration, there is a duration control here. You can see it has five seconds. If I put 27 seconds, which is what I want, it doesn't change all of them. It just changes the last one. I don't know if this is a bug or it's intended, but the way to work around this is this. You can turn on magnetic track. This is a control added in Camtasia 2020 that allows you to make sure there are no gaps between the clips on a track. So if you have more, more images here, they're spread out around your, you know, you cannot move them around the track because they're magnetic. Every time I delete one, it brings the rest of the clips together. So this is the way to do the duration. And for some reason, this works if I select all of them now and with this magnetic track turned on, I right click and say duration here, and I have 27 already filled in, press OK. And now look, it has made all the tracks, all of the um, clips on this track to be 27 seconds, which achieved the same effect that I just showed you with the default setting. But now this is, you know, you need to make sure that you do this on a separate track. If you need to put the slideshow somewhere further in your in your uh, project, then you would have to do this whole calculation and magnetic on a separate track 
and then drag all of them to the real track that you want them to be on um, instead of doing it because as soon as you turn on magnetic track it brings them all together so I can now take off the magnetic track and of course I can move each clip individually and do whatever I want with it. Um, the only difference is if you if you need to remove one of the slides, so let's say eight, I want only eight slides, but I still want them to fill in the full uh, duration of my clip. That is going to be uh, 270 seconds divided by eight. So I have eight slides and that's going to be like 33, 34 seconds each. So let me say, let me show you what happens. Enable magnetic track and let's say I want to remove this slide, delete it. All of the tracks following that clip came forward uh, to fill in the gap because you see these arrows here, they have the magnetic track is enabled. Now I can select all of them again. And as I said, 34 seconds, right click, say duration and put 34 in here and press OK. So now I think I put too much. This allows you to, ex um, to experiment. 34 is too much. Let's put 33, press OK. Still too much. You know, you can play with this. Let's, let's try 31 seconds. There you go. So you're kind of coming closer to your um, desired duration like this. And because of the magnetic track being enabled, it will pull everything back. So this is another way to do it with the magnetic tracks. But for some reason, it doesn't work if the magnetic track isn't on. So just to show you again, if I take off the magnetic track and I try and change the duration now to 30 seconds, maybe click OK, it puts gaps between them like that. So again, you can solve this by pressing magnetic track again and you've closed the gaps or you can manually move these in position like so. Of course, in Camtasia 2019, you don't have the magnetic track, so this will not work. So just use the first method I demonstrated. Now, all of my images have the exact same duration and I can select all of them to add the transition to them. So select all the tracks, go to the transitions tab. I'm just going to add a simple fade to all of them. And when the all the images are selected and you drag one transition, you can notice it's actually adding that same transition to all of them to the start and the end. Just release your mouse and now they all have the same transition applied. So now look at this. I'm going through my project and let me just play it here. Let me move forward. You can see the transition is working fine. And now if you notice that maybe some of the images depends on the sizes, if some of them don't fill the, the full screen, you can just go through them and notice if any of them don't fill the full screen, you can just click on it, hold down your control key and drag one of the corners to resize it and fill the full canvas. The duration is not going to be affected and the transition is not going to be affected. And this way you're just adjusting the size. That's because I've set my screen to be HD and all of these images are actually four by three or something like that. So I will have to go through them and adjust them. Unfortunately, this is not something you can do all at once unless you want to pull all of them up and then uh, you know select all of them and resize them and then go back and fix the ones that have gone too large you can do that the same way you know but this one allows you to kind of adjust your framing a little bit your composition maybe depends on the slideshow you have and there you go you've done it all and adjust the sizes so now all of the images are fading in nicely they have the same duration and I didn't have to manually change the duration of each one of them. There you have it. Now you are ready to export your video with music and you can be sure that it matches entirely your audio track. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this video or any Camtasia related questions or you're struggling with something, I would be happy to create a tutorial just for you. Just feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section of this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you again for your time. See you next time.